Welcome to a Starter and a Chaser podcast with your hosts, Joe Clark and John Passo. You know why we'll never find Waldo? No, why? He actually died back in Nam. Oh. So this whole time, when we find Waldo, mm-hmm. we're finding his ghost. I see dead people. We do. Oh, hi. With Welcome to another episode of a Starter and a Chaser podcast. <laughs> I am John Passo. I'm Joe Clark. Joe, besides finding the mysteries of Waldo and Back where in the am. world is Carmen San Diego, we are doing a follow-up episode to a previous episode that we did. So if you remember before, we did Charbet vodka, and we are doing Charbet vodka green tea. There you go. Look at that green vodka. So tell us about the green tea vodka a little bit, Joe. So it's a single distillation, mm-hmm. no filtration, just like their other vodkas we talked about, which is really cool because this is that old world style mm-hmm. vodka. And Where it uh, actually has flavor. Right. And they use the only thing they use is like a 20 micron filter, as he previously previously stated on our other episode that just kind of takes away some of the sediment. There is some sediment in there yeah, because it's not yeah. that fine. You can see it just and a little uh, bit. It is a corn and rye based vodka. We like rye and rye spice. Mm-hmm. So, that we do. Yeah. It's 70 proof. And uh, Charbet is based out of Ukiah, California, mm-hmm. Mendocino County, just 30 minutes south of where I used to live. Um, for, for the green tea, which this is, this definitely has a nice green hue to it. Yeah, it does. They do a 120 day extraction on uh, the green tea. You now they get the four different rare varieties of first growth green tea from the uh, Anhui province in China. Uh, and that's what they use to oh, wow. infuse it. Okay. And they kind of intend this one to be a mixer, but we're analyzing it straight out of the bottle. Yes. So what do you... You do get those tea notes. Like you, because my wife drinks a lot of green tea and so does my daughter and it smells like that. You do have the vodka background to it a little bit of alcohol to it not much on the nose really on the alcohol side of it but you get spicy notes also Mm -hmm. with this and it just it just like a lot of vodkas it's just very clean and refreshing smelling nice is there are you picking up any sweetness because they do back sweetness up to i think up to two percent on this Uh, one no no okay it's very uh earthy and tea like nice yeah nice kind of like a nice fall day well the master distiller there um uh, millerod is his first name he is a actual master distiller um and he is the 13th generation of distillers in his family his family started distilling oh, wow. back in 1751 so he knows what he's doing and if if any indication from what we've reviewed before is so I'm I'm curious to see what he brought with the and he's back green from tea. Yugoslavia huh? yes when they first started okay correct cool. nice. correct let's do it prost that is green tea vodka wow. Look that that uh, rye spice though, man. Oh yeah, it's spicy Thanks, on the back end. Yeah, is what I get. But that first sip for me was really interesting. It was like sweet tea, sweet tea, mm-hmm. spice, sweet tea. It was like it was just bounced back yeah. and forth, and it really caught me off guard. Yeah, it it definitely reminded me of uh, drinking a green tea that's been sweetened with like uh, cane sugar. Yeah. you know what I mean. Like yeah. you do in your glass, make tea. You know. I gotta um, go back for a second. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Wow, less just sugary. like their other, uh, yes, yeah, I heard that less sugary. Like their other vodkas, it, the spice builds on this as you as you drink it. It is very there. It, it's very interesting. I haven't had vodkas that really are spicy like mm-hmm. that. You know, I mean the Dan Aykroyd ones that we've reviewed had a little bit a of lot, a spice. This is a lot, but this is a lot of spice. Yeah, right now, but it's not off-putting i feel no, it's, no, no, it's like no. it's distinctly rye no yeah you know, right it's no, like it's, rye. Nice. it's like oh i'm yeah. used to that from whiskeys but i like, like my said, spicy whiskeys so yeah. this is like that's a note i like spicy yeah. vodka now you like i do i do <laughs> wow so what, what's your um flavor rundown on this so i you know i was getting the sweet and spice sweet spice and then second sip i got less of that that uh sweetness the first one was definitely sweet and spicy you, it tastes like green tea. It really does. Uh, it's very earthy, um, kind of grassy. 
the second sip took the sweetness away from me almost completely. Uh, it was more of the earthy green tea uh, spicy notes that are coming out with that. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of peppery, really. Um, I enjoyed the second sip more than the first. I kind of liked it without the sweetness hitting so hard up front. I, I agree yeah. with that. I mean, the first hit wasn't bad, yeah. but it definitely yeah. had that sweetness that kind of caught you off guard. But yeah, sure. that second sip is really nice. It's nice. And yeah. for something that's intended to be a mixer to be this enjoyable as a just a straight drink. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And I get a little bit of kind of a, a vegetal bitterness, a little bit on mm. the yeah, very yeah. far finish. Okay. But um, once again, that's that's green tea. I mean, you're supposed to get that. Yeah, I mean, it really, even the, the aftertaste, the finish on it is, I, I feel like I'm, I taste like I'm drinking tea. Yeah, 70 proof tea. Yeah, really. <laughs> should hmm. we, we, okay. should, we should hit up a Chinese store restaurant with this and be like would you like some tea it's like no no i brought vodka yeah right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i will take the glass though <laughs> you know how you're like in the hibachi places and they'll like make you like they'll, they'll do the uh sake yeah and they squirt, squirt it. it that would be actually <laughs> a lot this better up in the sake <laughs> yeah, yeah, this place. would be better <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> well they actually have on uh charbet's website uh a mixed drink for this that they kind of crafted themselves and it's called a green tea cooler uh so if, ecto cooler ecto ooh, yeah adult ecto cooler yeah i think we found it no high fructose corn syrup or uh <laughs> green food coloring needed for this one it's it does natural. not start as powder <laughs> it does not start as powder <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, but uh, so if you if you don't know the application that you would like to use this in, they have one pre-made uh, recipe ready for you to check out on their website. Joe, final thoughts on Charbet's 120 green tea flavored vodka. The only downside I find to it is that I'd like the proof to be a little higher. I think a little more alcohol hit would kind of balance this out a little more personally. Okay. I do like green tea. It's interesting how Charbet kind of infuses these flavors together with vodka. Yeah. Um, my favorite is still their clear, but um, this is really good. I, I enjoy this one actually more than uh, our last episode, the the, uh, the, the Meyer. No, the Meyer lemon. Meyer, Meyer, Meyer lemon. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm more of a fan of that one actually. Okay. Yeah. So um, the clear vodka, green tea, and then Meyer lemon yeah. third. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, they were one of the first distilleries to actually do fresh fruit infusions and they've had a lot of time to hone their craft and this definitely shows that it's it's really well integrated flavors mm -hmm. interesting what you said about more alcohol you know what upon thinking of that yeah i think this could get bumped up in the proof and i don't think you'd lose anything no in it uh but at 70 proof this is just great as it's a good. sipper yeah i can't it's wait good. to try this in a uh, ecto adult ecto cooler <laughs> as joe put it <laughs> yeah mm. wow that's delicious i gotta stop drinking that because it's dangerous uh so that was our episode of charbet distillery uh green tea if you enjoyed it be sure to hit subscribe yeah let us know Bye. if you've had it Leave some comments down down below. Mm -hmm. Any of the Charbet products, really. Um, also, you can hear us down below. Uh, you see all the links to uh, like Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, uh, Breaker, Instagram, Instagram, all that, all that stuff. stuff's down there. But uh, tell us also in the comments what your strategy is to find the ghost of Waldo. We want to know. Do you not focus your eyes and then all the ghosts come out of the page? <laughs>